I'm back. I'm Mike Dean, and this is Mike's Fish Room. Welcome back to Mike's Fish Room, guys. Sorry it's taken so long for uploads, but life is life and I gotta work. We've got some bad weather, it's raining me out, and I figured I'd throw up a video, get you guys caught up, and show you what else has been taking a lot of my time. Hope you like koi. Alright guys, so here we have about a 4,500 gallon koi pond. Uh, I've had fish in it for just a couple weeks now. Hand dug it, took me six weeks to dig it, and that was the uh, the main reason that I haven't been doing uploads. I've been coming home from work at 7 p.m., getting a shovel, coming out here in the rain and digging a hole. And uh, just trying to get this done so I had some good stuff to show you guys. I got a lot of questions on, uh, on the YouTube channel regarding koi fish on the couple videos that I did have. And it started sparking some interest again, so I dedicated some time, some effort, and a little bit of cash into my koi. They're loving it. They are absolutely loving it. Just started putting some of the aquatic plants in there. We've got some, uh, some water lilies, some water cabbage. We've got my elephant ears and everything that I've moved from my landscape up front. And then over here, just got some natural uh, grass. We've got some bananas. Got some Louisiana iris as a bog plant, and then two different varieties of a uh, canna lily. We come back over here to the deep end, <clears throat> which is four and a half feet. We've got our pump housing. We've got a skimmer built in. Another set of elephant ears going through their shock and coming back, and another set of Louisiana irises. A 
We're running the filtration with a 55 gallon drum. I've got a hose just for uh, water in the garden or you know draining the pond. When the levels get a little high because it has been raining like crazy. And it's a gravel bed filter. So I've got about two square feet of large rock, two square feet of medium sized gravel, one square foot of pea gravel. And then after that, I put just uh, the Pinky brand filter material, little mesh material right over the top. Put the light diffuser panel that you find at Lowe's and Home Depot over that and then held it down with some rocks. It's doing real well. You can see the elephant ears are doing good as a little bit of a bog plant. And then you've got the PVC pipe coming up so I can throw the shot back on it, kind of loosen up all that gunk from the bottom, blow air up to the top, and be able to purge the system and clean it out. So, the water is uh, it's doing a lot better. We've got a 55 watt UV clarifier on it right behind the waterfall. And uh, it, it definitely cleaned up the green water very fast. The only issue I'm having is there uh, is a bunch of dirt in the side rocks and stuff just from construction. So every time it rains real heavy, it murks up the water just a little bit. It takes another day and a half to clear. So, But uh, it's been, been rewarding. So in the past couple of weeks, I've gotten quite a few comments on my channel uh, regarding where I've been and, and you know making sure every, everything's okay. And I, I really appreciate that, guys. It means a lot to have people that I actually don't know just drop by to make sure everything's cool. But I assure you, everything's been great. Just trying to keep up with the weather, keep cutting grass, keep the landscape going, and uh, come home and, and still take care of the fish room. So uh, building this pond has been, uh, has been exciting. It's been a pain in the butt, but it's been exciting. And uh, I recommend anybody who, uh, who is into the koi hobby, who's got some smaller tanks or some smaller ponds, try it out. Try going big. You will not regret it. So thank you, everybody. I've got a lot of stuff to be able to go over with you guys. A lot has changed. In the fish room, we're talking over 13 mated pairs of angelfish now. Two pairs of koi, uh, six pairs of Philippine blue, the original, you know, kind of generics that I had. Um, but things are just blowing up, guys. Uh, fish are selling on eBay like hotcakes. Um, fish are breeding weekly, on schedule. It's exciting, and uh, hopefully, hopefully one day the lawn care thing will be able to slow down a little bit, and I'll be able to do this stuff full time. Then you'll be getting videos every day. So thank you guys for staying tuned in. Keep tuned in because we're going to go over aquatic plant species. We're going to go over the filtration for the pond, the type of koi that I have, the big boys that I got. We're going to get up close and personal. We're going to get dirty, and it's going to stop being just about angelfish. This is going to be a koi fish, angelfish channel, and we're going to rock and roll. So thank you guys, and stay tuned.